strike today. Uh, saw a couple of my videos with the uh, multiplayer action uh, in the quick play playlist, which is a uh, control for the beta, and uh, a little bit of competitive play uh, with the uh, new game mode, which is sort of like Search and Destroy from Call of Duty. Uh, it's called uh, Countdown. Um, I really, really like it a lot. Uh, it's a little bit different, I guess. You know, in a in a sort of sense to bring the Destiny, uh, but I enjoy it. Um, I created another warlock uh, because I personally don't like female characters. I just you know, considering I'm a guy, you know, I don't really like playing with a female character. But um, yeah, uh, I learned some stuff, new stuff uh, to uh, go over what I've learned so far. Um, it has the same uh, kind of feel as Destiny 1, you know, you hit a uh, triangle on each weapon, you know, you have uh, the little perks that you can use, like for instance, this Better Devil's Hand Cannon. You have Fast Draw, Steady Hand, and Sure Shot. Um, everything is kind of laced out a little bit different as far as like uh, the way it looks, as far as um, the the perks and the way they're set up um you have and they're they're kind of worded a little bit different like you have instead of explosive rounds you have explosive payload uh which is basically the same thing as explosive rounds you have extended mag which you know obviously it's extended mag then you have drop mag which uh i think is a new thing to destiny um i don't know if i'll ever use it but uh, it might it, you know it might have its purpose uh, it says magazine drops on reload, wasting ammunition, but greatly increasing reload speed. Um, I mean, that might be useful in PvP. I don't see how it'd be uh, more uh, geared towards PvE, but, um, you know, to each his own. Um, but as you can see, I've got steady hand uh, because I tried using sure shot. And it was decent, uh, it did give it a little bit more range, uh, but it decreased its stability and I think I was missing shots a little bit, I guess because of the sight, the way that they're a little bit different than uh, in Destiny 1. Uh, so I went to Steady Hand and at Steady Hand brought back the old looking sight, pretty much basically for the hand cannons like the Palindrome, the Eyes Luna, all those stuff. So I was more comfortable with that sight, so I chose Steady Hand. I have extended mag, obviously, because it's always good to have an extended mag, especially on a hand cannon. Uh, and, you know, explosive rounds, because, you know, that's the only perk in that slot. So, uh, I have gotten some pretty good kills with it. I have, uh, it, it takes about four to five shots to uh, take down a Guardian in PvP. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be in PvE, but uh, we will see later on. Um... The auto rifle, the scathe lock, is very, very good, um, in my opinion. Uh, it has a uh, kind of like um, it has a great sight for for one. As far as the the basic sight, the IS five circle, it's a uh, it's very, very good. Um, it has a short zoom to it. You have the model eight red scope, which kind of looks like that. You know, basically an iron sight. I mean, not iron sight, but a red dot sight. And then you have the uh, actual Mark 10 glass, which is basically kind of like your ACOG. Um, I personally like the IS-5 circle because it's very easy to ob obtain a target and keep your reticle on the target. Instead of, you know, the it being clunky and, you know, not be able to traverse when they jump in the air and stuff like that. High caliber rounds uh, is the same as, you know, Destiny 1, uh, Tactical Mag, which is something uh, something a little different to uh, Destiny. It's a uh, weapon that has multiple tactical improvements, and increases stability, reload speed, and magazine size. Uh, it did have that on there when I first started, but I did change it to high caliber rounds just because of the fact that it does have 42 in the magazine standard anyway, and I think the high caliber rounds would probably be a little bit... Um, a little bit better as far as like engagements in PvP. Uh, under pressure, uh, I think that's an. It might be a tra uh, another trait in Destiny One, but I, I, the way they word it, I, I don't know exactly what it would be right now. Uh, but it's improved stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. Um, so I'm guessing it's um, more like Eye of the Storm, maybe. I, I, I don't know, or maybe Zen Moment. 
Mm. I don't know at this point. But nevertheless, this gun is very, very good for an auto rifle. I'm very happy with that. Uh, the Nightshade. As you can see, uh, I haven't really done anything to this, but we're we're gonna we're gonna do it up right now. Uh, it has the red dot micro, agile short zoom. Then you have the snapshot sight, which is short zoom, increase, increases range and handling speed. Um, although that the red dot micro has a little bit more range to it, but uh, it does give it more handling and stability. Pretty much stays the same. Then you have the rifle scope. Uh, which I never really use a long range scope on a pulse rifle in Destiny just because of the fact that you're never really going to get in those engagements with that especially with a warlock you're going to be kind of like up in the action you know the only time you really hang back a lot and you might need like a rifle scope or something like that is with a scout rifle you know obviously it's a longer range weapon um, but as we see with tactical mag I'm going to switch that to armor piercing rounds just because of you know, it, it looks like it might decrease the stability a little bit, but it gives it more range. And, um, it, you know, it, it lowers the reload speed, but, you know, it might, it, it gives a little bit more, you know, kind of the rounds more effective. Then the kill clip, which I guess is kind of like reactive reload, reloading after kill grants increased damage. Uh, that's something new. So everybody who's going to be able to play Destiny 2, just remember that some of these, some of these perks are actually different like worded different than destiny one so you have to be sure that you read what you what you're about to put on your gun you know to make sure that you know that you know in a, in a sort of sense mindset that that's what you have on your gun okay now we're going to the energy weapons um this is the first exotic that you get in the game uh, when you do the first little story mission part right there where you you know, you basically get to know what's going on in Destiny. Let's check it out. Uh, it's called the Risk Runner Submachine Gun. It's an arc type weapon. Um, what's interesting about this gun is this uh, perk right here, Arc Conductor. It's like when you're taking arc damage, this this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming arc damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharged state, which I haven't really experienced that yet. I mean, I guess it's because of the beta and no one's really using storm trance or anything like that as far as like arc conductor. You know, I haven't really ran into many, uh, um, you know, uh, strikers as far as titans go. Uh, so I really haven't really had a chance to use that. Um, that perk and see how it actually activates and whatever it, you know it actually does in the game but let's look at the other stuff you have arrowhead break which is a barrel uh vented barrel greatly controls recoil increases handling speed now i have fired this weapon this weapon does shake a little bit it does kind of climb a little bit because it's a submachine gun but if you have a pretty good aim and a steady hand a steady thumb then it's not too bad But then again, like I say, I would not try to be shooting across the map with it. It's more like an up close in your face, kind of like, in a sort of sense, like an like you would a sidearm, you know, and and that and that type of range. Uh, you have extended mag, which obviously is extended mag. Superconductor. When uh, arc conductor is active, shots fired have the chance to become chain lightning and return ammo. That is something new, uh, or actually. The, well, no, I won't say new because the only thing I've ever seen it on is the Zalo Supercell in Destiny 1. And that was the only gun that really I ever saw that on. You know, besides the actual perk that you have on your Storm Trance ability, which uh, chains lightning to other enemies when you use your Storm Trance. So, um. Now we have Short Axe in stock. This weapon is especially easy to grip. Greatly increases handling speed. All right, um, that I, I've noticed that a little bit. You know, as far as like its lateral movement is very, very swift. So be sure to not overcompensate for that, and you know, go too far and, and miss your targets. And like I say, it's better to have a steady thumb and a steady hand, and be more relaxed while you're playing. With it. Don't uh, don't be so aggressive with it because, like I say, it does it does have a lot of movement. And if you do be too aggressive with it, 
you could uh you could end up hindering yourself because you're missing too many shots all right let's go to the next one uh the nurgle pr4 let's look that look at that all right it's a pulse rifle it's an energy pulse rifle um i did change a little bit on this uh i did have it on it was on torch hs3 which is a medium zoom red dot sight uh but i turned it to flash hs5 just because it highlights enemy targets and makes it a little bit more e, e it makes it a little bit easier to acquire targets and keep your your reticle on target when something's going on your screen uh that's just a, a common fact um i do like emollient guns uh from destiny one they were my favorite uh i do like the look of these new emollient guns it kind of looks more like a, a scout the old school scout rifle more than a pulse rifle but hey you know i'm not gonna argue with that and it's nice to see that uh emollient's making pulse rifles now uh usually they keep to uh scout rifles and you know uh hand cannons and stuff like that but uh, i put on steady rounds uh because it increases the stability um it, it even though it does say ricochet rounds does have more stability and more range um i wanted this because it's optimized for recoil control and i've noticed that with ricochet rounds it does have a little bit of up and down play uh in the uh reticle and it kind of that kind of might throw off your shot a little bit i like for my sight to be as stable as possible when i'm when i'm shooting just because of the fact that they're jumping all over the screen you know and everything else like that they might be throwing grenades you might have to jump out of the way of grenade and uh you know recenter to you know engage your target it's a lot easier to you know have that reticle as as, as stable as possible so you can accurately put bullets on target. All right, then it has fully auto trigger system. Holding down trigger will fire this weapon at fully auto. Kind of like the bad juju, be honest with you. Uh, the Nurgle reminds me of the bad juju. It shoots about at the same fire rate. Um, it, it, it does a little bit more damage, I'd say, than the bad juju does. It has a little bit more impact, so it does a little bit more crit uh, damage and does a little bit more body shot damage. Um, but at the same time, remember that it, it the way to use this gun, I, I've say I've used, you know, and learned to use, I've, I've used in a couple multiplayer matches, kind of use it like an auto rifle. Um, don't, don't, uh, you know, you know, hit your trigger button like you would normally a pulse rifle, kind of like the Parthion shot or any other, uh, pulse rifle that you, that you see on Destiny 1 most of the time. Uh, besides like the hopscotch pilgrim which comes with a, you know a fully automatic you know perk or like the uh, or like the oversoul edict you know from the from the new raids um just hold down the trigger and uh, you know keep it keep your reticle uh as close to the head as possible and uh you should you know, you should get a kill unless they're, you know, you're outmatched by a gun. Right, let's let's go to Scout Rifle Black Scorpion F or SR. All right, this gun was a little bit, uh, a little bit testy. I had to like kind of like play around with it to see really what each perk did. As far as like the barrels um but i i, I kind of got focused on the fluted barrel uh i was going to i did you know at first it was on full bore i did try out arrowhead break which uh it does um does give it a little bit more impact just a tad bit more you know uh but um it, it seemed like it jumps still a little bit too much like the the actual because it's an automatic you know uh, pulse rifle it, it actually it's fully auto as you can see right here with the best rapid fire uh it has deep ammo reserves and slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty so it kind of like has like um you know spray and play already attached to it uh so it had a little bit more too much up and down play so i put on fluted barrel and that made it a lot more stable all right, uh, I put on steady rounds, which increases the stability, you know, and to help out that, you know, whole factor of, you know, keeping the reticle on target thing. 
and then it has moving target as a trait which is increased movement speed and target acquisition while moving and while aiming down sights which is a great perk I would uh, uh, like to see on a lot more scout rifles especially ones that are fully auto um I have noticed that it's very very easy to uh, get you know damage uh, recognition and uh to see that you're actually hitting the target with this with this gun is very easy to I, I'm not really a fan of uh, the impact though I think it should be a little bit more but you know it, it's a beta they're probably gonna change a lot of stuff but as right now that's what I would run as far as on this scout rifle alright now the urchin 3 SI Let's look at this. All right, uh, you have the tac uh, Tactic SAS sight, which is an accurate sidearm sight, increases range. Okay, um, you have the target, which is uh, increases range, uh, decreases stability, and the handling a little bit. Um, and then you have the far point, increases range, lowers stability, and handling speed. Um, Personally, me, I don't really use sidearms too much as far as, you know, in PvP, uh, unless that I'm using, like, um, you know, like, the No Land Beyond from Destiny 1 or something like that. Something that has to have, where I can spam it, spam the trigger when they get close to me. Uh, so, really, I wouldn't, you know, consider really using this, but... In a sort of sense of looking at it, I would say I would keep it probably the way it is with the uh, with the sight, just because of the fact you need stability and handling when you have a sight. Of course, you're at close range, so you don't really need a lot of range. Steady rounds would be great, uh, and then you have outlaw, you know, which is pretty much the same, you know, as Destiny One. Precision kills greatly decrease reload time. So, and and that and that handling and that. Ugh, handling in that sort of sense, uh, I would leave it probably like the way it is. Um, yeah, all right. Now, this is a, a gun that gave me for playing uh, the troll playlist or the quick play playlist. Um, couple games ago so we'll look at this one all right uh, it's called the red mamba 3mg i like the way it looks it uh kind of resembles like a maybe a black ops 3 weapon or something like that it's uh the way these guns look are way different than you know destiny 1 and it uh is very they're very like i guess um what, what's the word i'm looking for i guess they're very They look real, basically, is what I'm saying. Like, they look very... Detailed, I'd say. Detailistic, I guess you could say. Um, so, let's look at the how the, uh, the rifles or the barrels go. Let's see. By looking at the stats changes on the side, I would think I would probably put... Chambered compensator just because it gives it more stability. Uh, high caliber rounds because it gives a little bit more range. You know, and it also decreases stability, but you know, it gives it a little bit more range. You know, and tap the trigger grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. Hmm, interesting. I haven't used it yet, but uh, we'll we'll see how it plays out. Now, as, the, as for those that don't know, the power weapons are now, are, are like heavy weapons. Uh, the fusion rifle is now a power weapon. Um, this fusion rifle is very OP. Um, it is, I won't say broken, uh, like a lot of them might would say, but it is, uh, without a doubt, like, probably one of the best fusion rifles I've probably ever picked up. Uh, 
I haven't tried out a lot of these sites, but uh, we're gonna try it out. With that setting right there. I think that's probably the best one, I would say, probably to give it more impact. Um, even though if you change it to enhanced battery, you get more in the mag, but you lose impact, so I'm going to keep it at that. Uh, the grenade launcher, let's look at that. Uh, you have uh, aggressive frame, which is high damage, high recoil. Um, you have volatile launch, uh, increased bass, blast radius, decreases handling speed, and decreases projectile speed. And you have confirmed launch, which greatly increases stability, increases blast radius, and decreases projectile speed. So, I would say confirmed launch. And since grenade launchers are new to uh, Destiny, let's look at what this is. Mini frags. Grenades are smaller and more compact for easier reloading. Then you have thermoplastic grenades. Grenades fire from this weapon bounce farther. Um, and as you can see, the... Uh, the damage and stability is a lot better with the thermoplastic grenades, so let's go with those. It has a pulse monitor, uh, automatically reloads a portion of the magazine when Wilder is critically wounded, which is interesting. I don't know how that's going to play out, but we'll we'll see. Then I got a I got a drop from one of the PvP games I played with the Morgan D Morgan D rocket launcher. Let's check that out. It has confirmed launch, increases stability, increases blast rate, decreases projectile speed. Then it has volatile launch, which increases the blast radius, increases velocity, which is projectile speed, and decreases handling speed. Um, you don't really have to have that much stability with a rocket launcher because of the fact that you're, it's a more of an area defense weapon. Um, Meaning you don't have to be completely accurate with it. You know, you just fire it around them. So I'm going to go with Volatile Launch. Uh, alloy Casting reduces weight for faster relo reloads. Um, and it decreases stability. High Velocity Rounds. Alright, well, personally I would go with High Velocity just because of the fact that, you know, you want it to get to the target as fast as possible. That way they don't shoot you out of the air when you're trying to shoot them or you're not getting team shot as as long uh and then the snapshot sight faster time to aim down sights which is which is a nice trait to have all right now i have been uh using the uh the dawn blade subclass which is basically like the Sunsinger class except for the fact that you have a sword that kind of activates kind of like hammers for the Titan but um it kind of has the same kind of like feel when when you activate it you know it, it, it's more like you're throwing you're throwing like arcs from from when you swing your blade down so it's actually kind of cool uh a new uh new thing for the warlocks um, to look at it, what you can do down here at the bottom is your is your glide. Uh, personally, me, I like burst glide just because the fact that you you have a speed burst and you can get around the map a lot faster. Over here is a new a new uh, thing to Destiny. It's called rifts, and uh, the warlock has it on both classes. Um, one is for continuous healing, and the other one is for increased weapon damage. I have it for weapon damage uh, because, you know, playing control, you know, you could also, while you're capturing a point, set it down and have a little bit more damage in your bullets as you're, as you're trying to protect that point, capturing it on control. 
Um, I don't see how that would really affect unless you're right on bomb site doing a competitive multiplayer as far as like countdown or something. But it probably could be worked. Um, I do have firebolt grenade instead of fusion grenades and solar grenades. I was using solar grenades, uh, but solar grenades seem like they don't last long enough. And the fact that it doesn't do a lot of damage when it burns them, unless you throw it directly on them. The fusion grenades I haven't really used much. Um, I'm very, I'm usually very good with fusion grenades or pretty decent with fusion grenades. But um, I haven't really got set in on it yet, I guess, in Destiny 2. So I'm using the Firebolt Grenade because, you know, throw it near them. It gives them a little bit of damage. You know, help you out in gunfights. Alright, over here is kind of like, um, kind of like perks that you, you, you would, you have that, that's always going to be on this class. I don't know if they're going to change it up when, when the launch comes, but... To look at that look at it you have wing sun which is engaged uh enemies in midair it's kind of like angel of light you know where you can actually fire your weapon and throw grenades while you're in midair it kind of like holds you there for a second in there then you have heat rises which is uh airborne kills recharge your grenade and melee energy casting daybreak instantly refills all your ability energy so like if you get a kill, basically it's going to recharge your grenades and melee. <clears throat> so I guess it works hand in hand with Wing Sun. Alright, then you have Icarus Dash, which I haven't really used. But that's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like having like, uh, the Titans, uh, Twilight Garrison on you at all times. You know, you can, uh, double tap circle or your back trigger if you use a scuff like I do. And, uh dodge air attacks um which is very interesting to have on a warlock and very i guess if, if you got it down pat it could be very good for combat all right then swift strike is basically kind of like um the same melee from destiny one you, you strike them with a melee it burns the target increases movement speed and reload speed uh, it's kind of like the same, best same thing as like Sunstrike or whatever it is, or uh, or Scorch, I think is what it's called. So, uh, yeah, that's the uh, Dawn Blade uh, subclass. Uh, Alright, now I'm on the Vordwalker. Which I didn't change the name of it this time, it does basically the same thing as Destiny 1. Yeah, you get, also you got your Healing Rifts right here. You have your glides down here. You have strafe glide. You have your blink, which uh, I've never used blink. I just, uh, I'm not really good with it. I don't, I'm not, not really comfortable with it. So I keep it on burst glide. Uh, I do have axion bolt instead of scatter grenade and vortex grenade because axion bolt is just a lot. It's, it's a lot better as far as like knowing you're going to hit your target. Like if you throw it near them. Nine times out of ten, they're not going to get away fast enough from it, uh, especially in, when they're in confined spaces, not get hit, which helps you out. All right, over here you have, you know, the perks, like just like you have on Dawn Blade, you have a Chaos Accelerant, which uh, it, it draws power from your super to overcharge your grenade, making it deadlier and more effective, which is something new. I've never seen that uh, before, so that might could be... Pretty awesome. I've not really used it. I don't really hold down L2 when I'm throwing a grenade. So I might try that next time. Then you have Bloom, which is from Destiny 1, which void kills cause enemies to explode. Which is very good if they're like in a, in a PvE standpoint. In PvP, it only works if they're actually cluttered up together, which it might be possible in Countdown because it's kind of like Search and Destroy. They're all protecting the bomb. Uh, then you have Cataclysm, which is no bomb travels slowly and seeks enemies. Detonations shatter into smaller seeker projectiles. Fire your weapon at the Nova Bomb to detonate it early. Which I didn't know that you could do that, honestly. But uh, I have used the Nova Bomb. Uh, it is very big and it does travel slowly. Uh, but it does, you know, it it does pretty much a lot of damage. Like uh, 
Yeah, I got a double kill when I used it on uh, one of my one of the matches on Countdown. Uh, the dudes ran into the building, and you know I was already supercharged, so you know it's a four v four. So why not eliminate half the team? You know what I mean? Then you have uh, Intromatic Pool, which is kind of like the same thing as uh, Surge, I would say. Uh, strike an enemy, or actually more like Life Drain. It uh, it drains the enemy's life force and uses it to recharge your your grenades. Instead of actually giving you health, it just gives you grenade uh, ability. Which is uh, pretty cool. And see down here, you have uh, other perks too, but um, you have to have an upgrade point for those. I don't know where you get one of those at, uh, but uh, we can look at those. Devour, kill an enemy with this melee ability to fully recharge, regenerate health. That, so that's more like life steal. Uh, kills restore additional health. Uh, feed the void, uh, which is uh, basically kind of like uh, hold L2 to consume your grenade energy to regenerate your health. Huh. Interesting. So these are kind of like the same perks from Destiny 1 in a way. And Sashable was like the last one on Destiny 1 as far as like on your on your perks. I think it was at the far right. Kind of like you get melee kills with charger grenades. And grenades with charger uh, your melee ability. So I think that's kind of like the same thing. Vortex, I guess in a sort of sense, it's kind of like the same thing as it was uh, on Destiny 1. Maybe does it, does it, I don't know if it actually increases the range of the Axion Bolt, but it does continuously damage enemies trapped inside. Let's look at the uh, Dawn Blade ones. So we have Igniting Touch. Burn them, explode them when killed. Faded for the flame. Daybreak projectiles seek targets as they travel. And upon impact, launch a streak of deadly flames. Interesting. That might be something I might want. Uh, everlasting Fire. Killing an enemy with Daybreak extends its duration. That's, that's kind of cool. And then Phoenix Dive, hold circle while midair to quickly descend and restore your health. While Daybreak is active, descend causes explosive damage. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Since we're going to be uh, going in a little PvE action with a strike here, I'm going to probably switch to Dawnblade just because I'm more comfortable with that. Um, so yeah, let's 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 hop right in. This is my first time uh, doing this strike, so uh, bear with me, guys. I'm going to be learning just as you are.
I do love the way that these new ships look and the way that the the orbit scene looks a lot better than Destiny 1. That's one of the things that's probably going to make this game very addictive to play. All right, so let's uh let's get it. All right, so I don't know where we go, so I'm guessing we go straight. Welcome to Nessus. This planet is crawling with fix. The Red Legion is sent in crews. We need to know why. Failsafe, are you online? Commander, your favorite AI is primed and ready. I have prepared backdoors into several key VEX systems. We have detected a series of seismic disruptions. The Cabal may be responsible. We need to know what we do. Yours are the boots on the ground, Guardian. Good luck. Oh, I like how the fireball does. But look at the Vex. They are interesting now. Wow. Kind of look the same, but in a way better. Oh, I better get down. I better, woo! Out a little bit. Alright. Let me get some of that. Let me get some of that heavy. Alright, so what do we do here? Hack it. There's a spire, just like with pretty much all of Vex that you run into. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's uh, go over this area. One thing I love about the Warlock, it's very easy to jump with. Very, uh, Easy to move maneuver in the air. One of the reasons why it makes my favorite character. Ooh, look at this. Oh look, look, it's a Vex milk waterfall. Can we stop and oh. Huh. And here comes the cabal. Alright, I think um, the hand cannon is probably not going to work the best with this. I'm going to change up the auto rifle. With these two guys right here, they look like they know what they're doing. So, uh, you know, let's uh, follow these guys. How you doing? The Band Panda and... Rakud, I guess his name is. Shout out to them guys. Is it weird I look at that light and I think, wow, that is one big ghost. And we're going down. Let's go down there with them, guys. Oh, uh, so these are like the flaxes. The I believe the nearby Vex constructs maintain that barrier. Well, I could have. Okay, we'll shoot. All right, he's down. All right, well, I died. My teammates look like they're just, uh, just sitting there chilling. Maybe I should have popped something a little bit different, you know, did a little, maybe pop a rift or something like that. Maybe, maybe I need to change that up because I do have it set up for PvP. So let's do with a healing rift here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you.
get away from that beam rifle over there. All right. I'm supercharged. Press forward, inverted spire. Look All right, so drills. where we go now? Even the Vex can't stop a Cabal invasion. Survival is a Woo! Good thing for you, buddy. Didn't know I was gonna have that much damn damage when I fell, so uh, that was not cool. I love how smooth uh, the jump is, though. the drilling site. Alright. Wow. This looks amazing. Raids and strikes are going to be amazing on this freaking game. I am going to say that now. Wow, you have like little dogs and stuff running out of here, man. That's crazy. Where we go, guys. I think we're going this way. Yep, right. Time to activate this right here, boys. down all right maybe I need to change up something here maybe I need to go with pulse rifle and maybe I need to go with the old submachine gun here because uh yeah all right guys I got four seconds so uh I'll get myself don't worry. Let's see if I can tag this dude. Yeah, he's gone. Alright, well, it seems like there's somebody up in here. See how it shakes a little bit, guys, while I was talking about it? Yeah. There we go. You know, Cade got stuck stealing from the Vex. 
Why didn't that happen to the Red Legion? Calculating Red Legion similarity to the cave. Oh, uh, we gotta go that way, guys. Zero 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 one percent. Plus, you know, cave dumb. You are both depressing and unhelpful. All right, good guys, good team shot. Where do we go, guys? Maybe in this? Okay. Nice enough. All right, well. You thought, buddy. I think they want their drill back. That machine gun comes a little handy right here, buddy. Let's hope this thing launches in the right direction. It's going to be a short. All right, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Let's go this way, guys. Be honest, I don't like this one bit. Um, I got hit by the darn. I think I got hit by the darn grill. Run, Panda, run, buddy. Run, buddy. Go get him. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'll get myself, or you can get me. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
Yeah, Alton, dude. <laughs> Killed me. Yeah, we died on that one, guys. As a lesson learned, do not go up there on top of where those drills are. I was trying to get like a maybe a maybe a uh, an aerial approach, but uh, all right, let's go, Panda. You coming, dude? Yep, let's go. All right, so. All right. This looks like a shrine of something. Yeah, let's do it. This must be what the cabal were looking for. No, really? What gave it away? How dare you? <laughs> Woo! I guess that dude was behind me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. What's happening to the floor? Whoa! What the fuck, dude? Yeah, he just knocked me off. Yep, yep. I got 20 seconds, dude. Don't jump off the map! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's... Man! Do we have a guy to leave? You at, bud?
Am I the only one in here? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. Guy, that did anything. Come on, run. This is a little difficult. Try to get ammo. Come on, Panda.
That probably was not a smart play to do. Get out of the way here. You about got him whooped, boys. I knew I was about to die, man. I was like, oh, God. Stay up, bud. Stay up. Stay up. We're looking for. No, really? What gave it away? How dare you? Am I the only one here? I think I'm the only one here. I think my man left me. I gotta have me uh, a little bit of long range weapon here. Yeah, here we go. Got rifle. This dude is on my ass. This is not good. Woo. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die. I'm 
trying. I'm trying to keep myself alive here, boys. Yep, I'm about dead. Woo, that gave me enough. Just enough. Well, 147 kills, 53 assists, 39 precision kills, and 6 orbs created. <sighs> and I'm by myself. Heck yeah, I got two buddies. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, buds. Gotta shoot this big son of a gun. Isabella, we found it. Big vets. Bigger guns. Good hunting gun. Ain't gonna make us drop, boys. Uh, hey, what's happening to the floor? Yeah. 
him! This is harder than it looks. And we only got two people. McMonkey. He's only got nine kills. McMonkey man, I hope you know what you're doing. Just sit here in this little corridor. What's up? Yeah. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get any teammates that's worth a damn. Or want to stay in here. And I dang sure ain't about to one man this. My guns ain't nowhere near strong enough. Hmm. But, hey. Is what it is. Well, we tried for a video. We got pretty close. And my man, Dan Bear, or Ban Panda, whatever his name was, something like that, Ban Panda, left me. So. I really don't know what to do now, because, uh, as you can see, I have no teammate. None whatsoever. But, if any of y'all played Destiny 1, and you've been to the Vault of Glass, or Venus, or any of those places, and you saw how the structure was for, like, the Vault of Glass, and the time conflux, and all those... If you look at this, the way they remap the graphics and the way that the, the detail into the side of the walls, I mean, look at this. Look at the detail on this. It's almost like you're in a movie. It really is. It almost is like you're in a movie. I mean, like, you don't see that. Like, in, the, in Destiny 1, yeah, you, you saw, you know, the whole, you know circuitry looking structure like this is you know with the little the blocks and everything glowing blues and greens and all that stuff and the vex and all that stuff but on destiny 2 they have taken that to a new level i mean look at the look at the detail i mean as you can see on my screen the detail is astounding it really is it is astounding um I think that this game, Bungie, as far as graphics-wise, have outdone themselves. I don't think they have ever had as much detail in a game or in a beta that I've ever seen. I mean, and hopefully to God, like, that's, this is just a taste 
of of what Destiny is going to Destiny 2 is going to offer. You know, I hope like that you know this is just like we're going to see things a lot a, a lot more, you know, you know, amazing to come as when, as soon as we get to launch, you know. But as first steps as far as like strike goes it's pretty hard and amazing um yes I know I'm the last guardian standing you know you don't have to tell me that been the last guardian standing for probably the past five minutes hey what's up man You do this. Ooh yeah. I'm... I wanna go jump down that no 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 don't Okay. Alright. This must be what the cabal were looking for. No, really? What gave it away? How dare you! I'm coming to get you, bud. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Better get over here. You have to wait a second, buddy. I can't get to you right now.
Hey, with me, buddy. All right. Maybe I might get through this this time, I don't know. Where's he at? 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 Freaking hell man. Uh, okay, there we go. There's ammo. There's ammo. That's what I'm talking about. The grenade throw distance is not helping, really. Yes, friendly ghost? We did it. We did a great job. Admit it. Technically, the captain did. You live in his backpack. Uh, switch off. Whew. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Well, guys, I guess that's going to be the end of this broadcast. Um, yep, uh, did you see the strike? It was a little hectic. I was worried there for a little bit. We didn't have no teammates. Uh, kind of felt alone in the universe of Destiny 2. But uh, again, thanks for watching, and um, see y'all soon.